What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Hey, I was reading some reports because I did a live stream earlier this morning and then people were sending me um, these articles about the comedian AJ Johnson and that he passed away. Um, what was interesting to me and that the reason that they sent it to me is because I was having a conversation about life insurance and how you guys need to be a little bit more prepared about, you know, life insurance, taking care of people, ensuring that you got all of your ducks in a row and that you're not just walking around, walking around like an accident and just living your life la vida loca. In YOLO, listen, all of that YOLO junk, that junk is dead once you get to a certain age. We don't rock with it. We don't do it. We don't, I don't subject myself to the idea that, you know, you're just living for today and that's the end of it. When you start to get married and you have kids and you got employees and people that depend on you and all of these different things, I don't understand how y'all just walking around and not having life insurance. Now, rest in peace to AJ Johnson and, you know, in a different conversation, I'm just trying to figure out what the piss, like, you know, I seen a video where his wife was crying on there and she was talking about, yo, if y'all, all of y'all fans, y'all say y'all fans, but y'all not really holding us down and y'all not donating to the GoFundMe and all of that. We done with GoFundMes, ladies and gentlemen. We done with fish fries. We done with wake and baits, whatever it is that you want to talk about. Look at this foolishness. What is this? <laughs> We done with all of that, y'all. We done with having conversations. Listen, it is his responsibility as a man. And I'm not criticizing and I'm not trying to do all of that because you can't really talk about somebody that passed away. But I'm using this as an example for you guys to make more informed decisions as to how you need to handle things and you need to get your affairs in order. Why are y'all walking around without life insurance? I don't understand that junk. That is baffling to me. I would never want Rita to ever be sitting there talking about, oh man, I gotta take care of this and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna bury Anton. And God forbid that I ever pass away at any soon time. Hopefully I live till I'm 90 and 100 in good health. But the point that I'm making is that why would we ever put ourselves in a position to where our spouses is talking about they're going to go back to work in a couple of days. They just can't today because they just don't have the energy because they absolutely drained from what they're talking about and the whole situation and trying to bury and all of that. That's not what men do. I don't know why y'all think that y'all could just walk around. I see dudes again walking around with all of these Benzes and all of this other type of stuff and y'all living a life and y'all getting it and all of this other type of stuff and then you ain't even got no life insurance and then they got to bury you they got to put up their own money they got to figure it out they got to try to have some infighting within family it should be a celebration of your life not a burden as a result of you leaving you should not be leaving your family burdened as a result of you not doing what you're supposed to do from a life insurance perspective and ensuring that your family is protected. Why don't we take care of business and why are we acting like we gonna live forever? And my real question, aside from that, side note, is sheesh, it must be really, really tough to be a struggling comedian out here because my goodness, ain't even enough money in the bank account to bury you. You, mar you, <laughs> I'm not going to get on that, but again, I'm always trying to figure out what it is that we're doing and why we're not being intentional, or why we're not taking care of business. And then people will look at me all funny, but they're not actually trying to make any kind of adjustments or take any learned lessons as a, as a result of the things that we've talked about. Oh, got a Hi, neighbor. How you? Hey, how you doing? Good, you going down? In the yeah, I'm going, yeah, I'm going down too. He's the, like, the, the, rind, the rhinestone. Delicious. Oh, thank you, her collar. She yeah. thinks you have like a treat there. So no, it's definitely not a treat. Camera door. Definitely not. Um, you want to see Rita's Tesla? It's over there. But we're going to take the Porsche today. Aw. She pulled too hard. But yeah, we definitely need to be a little bit more intentional when it comes to hey, why is this uh, like orange? I never noticed that before. The top of my car 
It's orange. The the see through see through top. You know, um, we was driving a uh, the, the replacement Tesla because I took Rita's car to get the windshield replaced, and it cost me thirteen hundred dollars to get the windshield replaced for Rita's car. But anyway, so we, we got in a replacement Tesla and it had that same thing. Does Rita's car have that? I gotta figure this out now. I gotta see it. See ya. I don't know if Rita's car got that or not. I don't know if it only shows. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know if Rita's car got that. I don't think it does. I don't know if that's a special feature or what but the Porsche is looking absolutely gorgeous and I need you guys to not be sitting out here riding around in Porsches and uh, the Benzes I see y'all and the big G wagons and all of that other type of stuff y'all ain't even freaking got no life insurance what the piss is that yo uh yo people gonna wind up being in a state to where they can't even really celebrate you because they so busy and focused on trying to figure out how they're going to bury you. And that's not just about life insurance. This is just about life in general. Why are we not intentional? Why are we not taking care of business? Why is everything that we do secondhand and reactive instead of being proactive? All of my ducks is in a row. All of my beneficiaries is named. I got a whole set and, and spreadsheet on exactly what to do and what the passwords are. I've went through and had conversations almost every single year with Rita. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. This is where the money is. This is what you need to do if ever anything ever happened, so on and so forth. Why are y'all walking around like an accident like y'all don't know what the piss to do or y'all can't make the right adjustments accordingly? What is happening? Why are we sitting here? Wondering why we in last place and you don't even got all you got. Most of y'all got a regular job that offers some form of life insurance from the from the from the place that y'all work at. And you sitting here. No more fish fries. No more GoFundMes. No, none of that, y'all. I'm so tired of seeing that type of junk on social media, especially from people that have done significant work and they famous and they legends they people just like you and me they pass away just like you and me they put on their pants one leg at a time hopefully just like you and me and i'm trying to understand why are y'all leaving y'all widows and y'all family and y'all kids to try to figure out and pick up the pieces when you could have put all of that stuff in place and been intentional throughout your life y'all walking around y'all ain't got no retirement y'all gonna be sitting here trying to figure out how social security and blaming the government and talking about senior care and everything like that i'm man i am very much very much throwing everything that i have into um not everything that i'm have but i'm maxing out on everything i just got this new corporate position um i'm putting 60 percent so i can max out before the end of the year on my base pay come on y'all let's take care of business let's be about this life let's uh start taking care of what we supposed to take care of and make sure that Things are easier as a result of us um, no longer being here when our time is up. Life and death happens to all of us. I experienced it with my father um, pretty recently, within the last three years, actually. And, you know, thankfully, I was in a position to be able to take care of it. But we got to be intentional. Y'all, I look kind of dope with this light coming down on me. Shout out to the Porsche lights. I'll holler at y'all later. I appreciate y'all for continuing to rock with me if you haven't already. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm and then make sure that you also uh, subscribe to the channel and join the Patreon if you can and get this game. Get this work. Let's get this money. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.